Is it going? Uh-huh. Hey guys, welcome. Holy smokes, barbecue. Holy smokes, what? We are in Orange County, and we are at Holy Smokes Barbecue. We're in the small little town actually in Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill had a population of about, it was 1,717 back in 2020. This place is leaped in population, just like all places that are surrounding Franklin or Nashville. It's located about 18 miles from Interstate 840. And what we're doing is we're checking out the barbecue, aren't we, Darlene? Say yes, Darlene. They can't hear a nod. Yes. All right. Give a holla holla. Okay. Holla Come on, guys. holla. Let's jump on over here. Oh, yeah. This is the Carnivore Channel. Smash, like, subscribe. <laughs> really would like it. And we're going to tell you what this barbecue tastes like. Now, Darlene, if you would do a scan out here, because this is the front of it, what I'd love to do is be able to get, and that is a little bit of a clip on the inside so y'all can see what it's like. Looks really nice. People seem nice. It's $12.99 for a pound. So it's $12.99 for a pound of barbecue. Let's take a look and see what they got. Come on, Darlene. Which side do you want to? Okay, you're going to sit on that side? Okay, that's cool. Ooh. So this is the second restaurant that we're trying out. Last time we were over in McMinnville. Do you recall the name of that place in McMinnville? I do not recall the name of that place in McMinnville. Um, Hickory Creek. Hickory Creek? Okay. So let's talk about this. You're on the carnivore diet. What? How many grams of protein is it in a pound, Darlene? You know this. 90. 90. So as we split this, it's 45 grams of protein a piece. You saw what we had earlier. Earlier today was 70, like 90 grams of protein already. With this, as we split it, it's gonna be about 130. So let's check it out. Whoo. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell them about these wires here in a minute too. You wanna go ahead and get a scan on that, darling? Okay. Look at that. Wait a second, let me get it sent. There we go, it's better. Ooh wee, that is looking good, boy. Oh my. Darling, I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna have you try it first. Ladies first, get him in the camera. I'm gonna spin around on you. Ooh, ooh everything's okay. I am not using that fork. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> looks like we'll be splitting the fork. That's okay. What do you, so what do you? Good. Good? It's actually not, not dry. Is it, hmm. So are you trying to say, is it better than the one that we had in McMinnville? Possibly on the dryness. Yeah. No, there's no, no, there's not as much seasoning or anything to this. There's not as much seasoning to this. Okay. I mean, you can add, I mean, I can taste a little bit. So it's got the smoky? Let me go ahead and try and give it a try here. Let's try it out. Okay. Oh, you wuss. I had a bigger bite than you. It's nice and smoky. It's good. It's good. I, I, I would give this let me take another bite before I rate it. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them. Hmm? We should be having microphones. Oh, yeah. We should have microphones right now, but they're on order. They'll be here very, very soon. Darlene ordered them. I don't know what she did, but it delayed it. Just kidding. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't delay it. I'd say it's very tender. You know what? I would have to take one more bite. Just one little small bite. Let's see. Okay. It's smoky. It's moist. I would definitely... With this right here, you're definitely getting your value. Because, you know, I mean, it's really high quality. I did give it about a 7. 7 to 8. Maybe 7.5. I feel very good with a 7.5. Yeah. Well, what, what do you think, Darlene? Would you agree with that or no? Yeah. Okay. And do also want to show you all something else that we found before we came here. I talked to Darlene about this and I'm like, I want to have a smaller bottle. I usually drink 
and I pour my water into a small container because I use the distilled water in the gallons. Might have to talk so a little we, louder for them. What we did is we picked up this hydrate alkaline water, pH 9.5 plus. Anyways, it has electrolytes. Are you able to see that pretty good in there? Yeah. Okay. So we bought this. It tastes decent. Um, I can't say enough about getting alkaline water. I mean, I, I think there's a really big plus to that. The, the distilled is what I really, I mean, my number one is distilled. The alkaline is good, but I gotta tell y'all guys, whoo, when it comes to electrolytes, if you are on the carnivore diet and you are lacking energy, or you just, yeah, you just feel like not doing anything. Charlene's eating my hand. Here, let me get a picture of me doing that. <laughs> Go ahead, we wanna see you do that. We wanna see you eat by hand. That was funny. But you know, if you're not, if you don't have any energy, if you feel like you're dragging, you're not drinking enough water and you're not getting those electrolytes. You have to have those electrolytes. That has turned it around for me. Also, those curls I was doing earlier on that video, those were mini curls. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> I do know how to do real man curls, but I'm doing my eggs mainly as an egg timer, but also those mini curls, they, they do, they, they do pump up the arm, which is pretty cool. Do you want to get a scan of the inside just to, just to show them what it looks like? You can. I'm I will. Gonna yeah, get. sure. Yep. But anyways, guys, one of these propels to this water, oh my gosh, it will just pump you up. It's $7 for a 15 pack of these. And I just can't say enough. When you're about to have a day, when you're off, when you're out and about, when you're not eating, drinking your distilled water that you get out of the gallon, check these out. I'm not trying to sell them, obviously, but 15 for seven bucks. And when you think about getting a water in a, in a, in a restaurant or if you're out at a gas station, it's insane. You're talking about 250 a, a bottle, not worth it. Get these, they break down to 50 cents a bottle, plus your per bottle, you can't beat it. All right, so let me, I'm gonna go ahead and get a scan of the inside so they can see it. Y'all deserve to see it. Such a cute little place. Nice employees. The employee actually waved at me. Such a cool guy. Mm. Guys, we thank you so very much for showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful if you eat here. <laughs> because, I don't know. These pink tips are a little bit slick. But, yes. This is a place worth stopping at. Especially if you're on 840. It's worth that 18 miles. If you're coming in Franklin, or not Franklin, what am I talking about? Chapel Hill, if you're in Orange County, come check it out. 7.5, it's a high, yeah, this is in Orange County. No, this is not, this is Marshall County. No, Chapel Hill's in Orange County. No, sir, it is in Marshall County. Oh, come on. You're talking about another state. Oh, no kidding? Yes. <laughs> okay, Darlene seems to feel like it is, and I think she's right, and I don't even know, okay, so. I hate Google sometimes. So anyways, we're in Marshall County, now in Orange County. But it is a population of 1,717, as I stated before, and their barbecue's good. So come check it out. I tell you what, what I'm getting, what, I, what I'm wanting right now is some brisket. But we're not getting in here, folks. We're, this is what we've tried here. I think, yeah, I, what I wanna do is I want to go to Summertown and I want to check theirs out. They've got a place over there. Who? What's what's that called? Schrader's or Schaefer's? Schaefer's. <laughs> Schaefer's. I'm thinking about somebody else's last name. Schaefer's and Schaefer's Barbecue. And I've heard from several people that's the place to get the brisket. That's the place to get barbecue. That's the it's actually a meat market. Your roast beef, whatever, huh? It's actually a meat market, and you can eat in it. So I'm looking forward to trying it. Ooh. Y'all have a beautiful day. Certainly do appreciate you. And we're going to keep eating our 90 grams of protein. Peace out, y'all.